Hey, it's Katie and welcome to my corner of the world. All right, today I have a couple of Ulta orders to share with you. One of them has my birthday gift from Ulta in it. One of them I got because, because as there was something in it I wanted. I wasn't, I was afraid it wouldn't be around on next holiday season. And so I went ahead and picked it up. So if you want to see what I've picked up from Ulta, then come join me. Welcome. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. If you are new, hi, my name is Katie. On my channel, I do unboxings. I do some hauls. do Tea Tuesdays. Is I sometimes highlight small businesses. Is and and just anything that makes me happy, and I hope you enjoy it too. All right, Ulta. Uh, my birthday is at the very end of December, after Christmas, before New Year's, and so a lot of times these stores that give away things on your birthday, they don't usually have by the time it gets to my birthday, and that's what I found every year with Ulta. This is the first year I think I have gotten something from Ulta for my birthday. Um, and maybe it's because I ordered online as opposed to going into the store or because I've been seeing even with Sephora folks, folks people saying that they, they didn't have anything left in the stores after going to multiple stores. I'm not going to multiple stores. So I did order online and with both of them, that meant I had to order other things or else pay shipping. Like it, Sephora would not even, because theirs was sh free shipping, and they wouldn't send it out unless I bought, I think it was like $10 worth of stuff. It was, it was kind of nominal. But um, I did get several things from Ulta. Uh, I'll start with the birthday gift one. This is a birthday gift of Glow. Oh, it is the Clinique Moisture Surge Auto Replenishing Hydrator. All right, so just a little sample of it. Let's see how much. No, maybe we'll see in here. Now I might end up passing this along to my mom because she uses a lot of Clinique. Although I've tried the Moisture Surge and I've liked it, so maybe I'll try more of it. It just says 100H Auto Replenishing Hydrator. Oh, here we go on the back. Uh, 0.5 ounces or 15 mLs. That looks like an awful big jar for 0.15 ounces. My guess is that um, a lot of this on the bottom is hollow. Oh, because, yeah. That's what it looks like. But I'll get a decent amount of usage out of it. So, okay. Happy to get it. You know, I'm happy to get anything from Ulta, like I said. The last couple years, I've gotten nothing because my birthday's so late in the year. Or, and I do think these stores should either honor those late December birthdays. Because sometimes the stores don't even send them out until your birthday. And, you know, you have to use it in the month of your birthday. My birthday's at the end of the month. So, and the end of the year. So, I really get very little window oh, to use some of these things. So, I wish these stores would take those type of things into account. Because those of us, we already get the uh, short end of the stick with having in late December birthdays, right? I mean, those of you who are there with me, you know what I'm talking about. That uh, this is your Christmas and birthday gift. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, I did pick up, like I said, a couple of things, things with it. Um, one of them is for Emily, although I'm going to put this away for her birthday. Even though it does have Christmas trees on it. My kids don't care. Um, she probably won't even notice that it has Christmas trees on it. I, she did just get a um, waiver for Christmas for her hair. So I'm going to wait for her birthday in June to give her this. This um, this has like the heatless curl, curl rods in it. Um, a scrunchie. A claw clip. And then this big roller that's like for the front. So... Oh, she's always trying to get a little bit of curl in her hair. So I thought this would be a good one for her. It is from Kitsch, which is a really good brand for this type of hair product. So, oh, and 
I got it at a really good price. I think it was originally 20. I might have paid 10 for it. And, and I looked at like Sephora and I looked at like Walmart and Target and other places that carry Kitsch. I looked at Amazon. This was the best price I could find on and this size is is on any of them. So I thought that was a great idea. I know Emily will like this. So this will go away for her birthday though. Kind of a happy birthday to me, but I bought it. It was on sale and it's a, it, it's a set. So this is, you guys are all going to be like, yeah, of course you got that Katie. This is the Pro Collagen Try Me Trio Cleansing Balms from Elemis because, yes, it's Elemis. Um, these, it says $39. I think I paid $30 for it. So, oh, I got it about 25% off. Um, each of these, though, you know, on their own is like, like 17 to $18. Like, the the whole thing all together is normally $51 if you bought each of these individually. So to get it for like $20 less than that was pretty dang good. And, and if you know me, you know I love Elmas Cleansing Balms. This is like, this is the original one. Each of these are 20 ounces and yes, they do go for almost $20 each. Each, um... This is the original one. I love this one. And, and then it has two others. This one I have not used yet. This is the Pro Collagen Naked Cleansing Balm. So I'm thinking this has like no scent, no color to it. it I haven't used this one yet though. Okay, it still has somewhat of a similar color. Has a little bit of a scent, but not as much as the other one. A lot of people don't like the Elemis scent. I don't mind it. Yeah, this one's just a little bit stronger, really. And then the third one, the third one is the one that's my least favorite, although I haven't tried the one yet. This is the Rose Cleansing Balm. It's a cleansing balm. I'm, I'm not a big fan of Rose scent overall. It is kind of strong, but it's a cleansing balm. Um, you're not wearing it on your face all day. You're using it to take off your makeup uh, at the end of the day. So you wash it all off. And I usually use this as like a first step in my cleansing in the evenings when I'm wearing makeup. Uh, rub this on, get all the makeup off, and then I go back in with a second cleanse with a a kind of gentle face cleanser. Uh, so this isn't staying on. I'm not smelling this all night long. So oh, if it comes in the trio, oh well. Well, I'm happy to have it. So I did pick up this trio. Again, not a big shocker for anyone who knows me. Okay, what else did I pick up? Uh, um... Well, I'm looking for makeup this year or like the stuff that I want to buy this year is really stuff that is going to work well with my aging mature skin. So I picked up a couple of recommendations in that sale. In there I also picked up this NARS kit. This has a lippy and the liquid blush in orgasm. Um, so, oh, and this was something that I believe they noted, that was noted as something good for maturing skin. And I am liking, being, I gotta say, I am liking liquid blushes a lot. I, I find myself reaching for them all the time. So this is what it looks like. You know, it's the orgasm color. Or, of course I'm going to love it. It, it is my favorite shade. It is, you know, oh, a great shade for just about everyone. That's why it's a cult classic because as, as it looks so spectacular on everyone. And then this is the lippy that went with it. And that is what that looks like. Just a beautiful, like every day, a lippy. So I'm happy to have this one too. 
So I think that was it for that order. All right, then after the holidays, Emily and I were in an Ulta, uh, either actually on my birthday or the day after. All right, and she mainly wanted to go and she had a gift card all right, that she wanted to spend. I didn't really want anything. And in fact, I don't think I got anything in there because I had gotten kind of the stuff I, I wanted earlier or during some of the sales. So I didn't really want anything. But then I saw a palette that I really loved. And, you know, I guess it's a little controversial for the because of the brand. But this brand works well. Oh, for me, I've never had a problem with the shadows or anything. Um, I know they're kind of not the it brand anymore. I think when I first got into doing any makeup and not, and, you know, when I say into doing makeup, it's not like I'm some beauty guru here. Um, like it was the stuff that everybody was mentioning when I first started, like actually paying attention to makeup. Uh, was Morphe. And this was their holiday palette, the 35 Tees the Season. And and I don't really have holiday palettes. I have a ton that are more like Halloween inspired. Or, and I'm not a big Halloween person. I don't know why I have all the Halloween ones, but I do. Um, I only have like one holiday inspired one, and that's a two-faced one that I've had for a couple of years. So when I saw this, I just loved the colors in it. And I was like, I really want that. And I had some um, points that I could use towards it. They didn't have a decent palette though in, in my Ulta. So, oh, I did come and order it online. This is what it looks like. I just thought it was so pretty. The, um, Emily loves this glitter here. I'm not so sure how I feel about it in the center there, but uh, pull my sleeve up here. That is what it looks like. You know, it gets patchy. You're, I'm gonna need glitter glue if I'm gonna use that one. And But I loved, like this whole row of shimmers here, I just love, absolutely love. Of, um, I mean, all of the brown, these warm tones I'm going to use. Some of these cooler tones over here I'm going to use. This is a palette where I could see myself using every single pan in this palette. It, except maybe that one right in the center. Or, and maybe I'll be brave enough and get some glitter glue and use that. So that is, is I wanted to pick this up because I figured they may not have this next year. I mean, the way Morphe's going, they may not have Morphe next year. So I did want to pick this up. And I did. And, and this was kind of a one of my birthday gifts to me. Yeah. Okay. I, I, you start getting to the point where you're like, um, how many birthday gifts did you get yourself? Oh, I didn't show you this, but the other thing they have is actually the four looks that you can do. So they have like a smoke and ice, a bold fashion, a warm and toasty, and a beautiful sight. So I might actually try some of those out. I'll, um, it might get me to, oh, you know, be more adventureful, adventureful in my makeup in general, just knowing how to, where to place something. So I'm excited about it. No hate, please. Uh, to get free shipping, I had to get a couple of other things. So these Kiss Nails were on sale. Oh, I thought they were really pretty for the holiday. So I did pick these up. Either um, Emily or I will try to use them next holiday. They, there's, how many are in there? 28. So oh, we should be able to each, hopefully, they wear a set of them. Um, and then I picked up one of the elf, this is an elf bite size palette. You know, those like itty bitty elf. <laughs> when it came, I was like, what in the heck is this roll of, like, why would they roll this up? And then I remembered, hey, there's a palette, there's an elf palette. 
But so this is what it looks like. It is picking up more purple in the light there. When I look at it in person, it looks more er, um, blue. Well, now that I'm looking at it up here, maybe it was the, it was at night or something. Dang. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this one yet. This is the bite-sized acai you. Oh, oh, now ColourPop had an acai you. Oh, palette that was purples but theirs was like almost all shimmers this one this one has two mattes on each end and then two shimmers in the middle so I feel like it's a little bit more balanced than the, the other one was as far as being able to do a full oh, look with it but I don't know oh I may throw this in a future giveaway this was like it was a dollar fifty, like, like no kidding, on sale for a dollar fifty. I mean, practically Dollar Tree pricing, right? And then the last thing I got was whoopsie, was from Wet n Wild. It's the Impossible Primer. Or this, I got influenced. This is totally one hundred percent. I got influenced. Um, by Andy at Andy Does Makeup and Gloria P at Makeup and More with Gloria P. A, they both were talking about this primer and how good it is. And and they're both around the same age or a little older than me. So I was like, I got to try this stuff. And they love it this much. And Gloria has like similar shading to me and everything. A lot of things that work on her work well on me too. So this was a total, oh, I got influenced by, um, but it's wet and wild. So it was not super expensive. So I do want to give this primer a try since they say it's so great. I think what I'll do one month is do like an eye or even like, like a, maybe a get ready with me or something like I was influenced look because there are definitely things that that I have bought because I was influenced on them and this is one of them so that is everything that I got in my Ulta hauls let me know what you thought that is it that is all I have for you today until I see you next time have a great day bye